Hi, this is Glenn White with Eurosafety. In today's tutorial, I would like to talk about the delta and G gauge that you would find on the AS355N. Now, we've made another video describing what a delta and G gauge is. In this particular video, we're going to talk about the markings that you would find on the AS355N delta and G gauge. Now, on other delta and G gauges, there's a digital uh, indication what the engine and G speed is. On this particular helicopter, the NG can be displayed in these little windows that are on the instrument panel. And you can choose what is being displayed on these small readouts. Uh, we have our control panel that decides what is displayed on these. So during start, we're going to have it in the NG selection so that we can see what the NG speed is. Once the engine is running and in flight, we're going to change that to fail. So if any failures were to occur, we would get an indication of that. Now there's a whole bunch of markings on these gauge and there's some confusion what all these markings mean. Now first of all, you notice there's a dashed indication between the yellow and the green. And this is dependent on your speed and the outside air temperature. If you're below 65 knots, you can go up to the bottom of the yellow, which is minus 2.6. Now, if you're faster than 65, the outside air temperature needs to be warmer than zero degrees centigrade. And then you can also go to minus 2.6. Now, if you are faster than 65 knots and it's colder than zero, you're limited to minus 3.6. On takeoff, you're allowed to go up to zero and if you go above zero, this limit indication will appear on your caution panel. After a single engine failure on the AS355N, there are two markings after the zero. The yellow is intermediate contingency power and the red dashed line is max contingency power. You're allowed to go up to the yellow for 30 minutes you're allowed to use max contingency power for two and a half minutes. Now, the NG can't get past that. It's limited to that 2.7% um, of value. If you try to pull more, you'll just droop the rotor RPM. Now, once you've used up your two and a half minutes, um, or you want to reduce power, what you can do is you can push the small button that's underneath the collective head, and that will now limit your NG instead of the max contingency power to the intermediate contingency power automatically. And when you do that, when you push that button, the little red light illuminates, reminding you that you don't have that two and a half minute uh, power available any longer. Oh, well, I hope that answers any questions you may have about the Delta NG gauge that you find in the AS355N model, and we'll see you at the next Eurosafety tutorial.